I trust you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. All right, we are revisiting John 14. chapter 14. This is part two of the sermon series entitled, Who's in You? Who's in You? John chapter 14. We stopped last week at verse number 20. And we're going to we're going to go back to verse 15 and read up to 20 just to kind of get you caught back up. And I'm reading from the New International Version. It says, if you love me, you will obey what I command. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever. The spirit of truth, the world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you before long. The world will not see me anymore, but will see me. But you will see me, excuse me. Because I live, you also will live. And on that day, you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me. And I am in you. Whoever has my commands and obeys them, he is the one who loves me. He who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love him and show myself to him. Then Judas, not Judas Iscariot, said, But Lord, why do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? Mm -hmm. And Jesus replied, If anyone loves me, he will obey my teaching. Mm -hmm. My Father will love him, and he will come to him and make our home with him. Mm -hmm. He does not love me. He who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. I'm going to stop right there. You can be seated. I'm already at the text. The text is, or the entitlement is already set. Who's in you? Mm -hmm. We asked this question on last Sunday, and it is not a rhetorical question. Let right. me say that. This question is not a rhetorical question. A rhetorical question is a question that is asked but does not necessarily need an answer. This question is not rhetorical. It needs and it deserves an answer. Amen. Everybody should understand this here. We all have someone 
in us. We all have something that resides within us. All right. But the question of the day is, who is that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, let me put it to you this way. You cannot exist without the aid and the assistance of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I'm going to say that one more time and maybe somebody going to catch it. You cannot exist without the aid and the assistance of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Usher. You may be seated. We, we have to understand, people of God, that there are some, 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 some prerequisites to how God expects for us to live. Amen. And then there are some prerequisites to the living conditions by which God, the Holy Spirit, will live within us. Right. You can't expect God to live in a place that's filthy. All right, all right. Amen. Hey, listen. <laughs> I don't know about you, but but when I think about heaven and all of its splendor and all of its glory and all of its uh, majesty and think about even the descriptive nature of what heaven looks like because the scripture tells us that the walls are made of jasper and uh, the streets are paved with gold and the, the rivers that flow with milk and honey and uh, and, 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 and and inside there's a uh, there's a there's a tree that's there that has a, has enough healing on just the leaves for the healing of the nation and when you think about all of that beauty of heaven why do we think that God the Holy Spirit would want to come and live in a place that is beneath his current dwelling situation. All right, all right, all right. So that's why we have to make sure that we keep the temple of the living God, our bodies, clean. Amen. Amen. I know we folk gonna get quiet on because we do too many things in the temple. All right. Amen. Amen. We 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 allow too much in the temple. All right. Amen. Amen. And then we have the audacity that after we have allowed so much to go on in God's temple, we have the audacity to come on church to church on Sunday morning and the spirit can be high and you can be sitting there like ain't nothing going on and have the audacity to go back home and tell somebody, man, I just didn't feel nothing over there. All right. Amen. I understand why you didn't feel nothing. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you can't feel the Savior's love. You can't feel the presence of the Holy Ghost when you have so much sin. All right. All right. In your life. All right. Amen. 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 And, and, and some of us, uh, and I'm going to get to the text in a minute, and some of us, uh, we live life and we do all of the things in life and we expect God to move mountains for us. All right. And, and if God don't move the mountain for us, then we, we got a distaste in our hearts and our minds uh, for, for Christendom and for even for church because we've been living ragged. Amen. Amen. 
amen. And I, I went to that church and then I didn't feel nothing and, and I ain't going back because it was a it was a cold, eerie feeling. Let me tell you something about cold and eerie feeling. And when you come in the church, the devil will have you cold and eerie. Amen. He will isolate your yeah, spi yeah. your spirit, man, so that your spirit man won't be able to yoke up with the other spirit men yeah. of other right. men and women right. of God. That's why you feel like you're the only one. Amen. 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 And, and folk can be shouting and, and having a, a great time in the Lord, and you sitting there looking mm -hmm. bewildered. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> but listen to what listen to what he's saying. Uh, verse twenty. He says, "On that day." You will realize that I am in my Father, right. and you are in me. Notice now, if you go back to 19, he says, before long, the world will not see me anymore. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But you, because you are kingdom connected. Uh -huh. Somebody say kingdom connection. Kingdom. Because you have this kingdom connection, All right. you will be able to see God, see Christ, see God, experience Christ, experience God, experience the Holy Spirit when the world won't ever be able to see or feel what you feel. Why? Because you are kingdom connected. All right. Thank God for the kingdom connection. Thank God that that, 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 that he will disclose to us who are a part of the body of Christ are things that other folk won't be able to see. That's why the world cannot understand or fathom everything that we talk about. That's right. Amen. 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 They, they don't understand uh, our hallelujahs belong to him. Yeah. Yeah. They don't understand having a, a, a prayer life and praying to a God that they can't see. But 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 they know that there is a higher power. Right. They just don't want to give him a title. All right, all right. They don't want to give him a name. Y'all yeah. yeah. ain't helping me. Come right. on, come on. And, 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 and there's a higher power. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 And my Bible says uh, that I read that in the beginning, uh, God. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Created the heavens and the earth. All right. Amen. So Jesus says that the world will not see me anymore, but because you are kingdomly connected. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. But because because I, I'm in you, I'm I'm in the Father, and you are in me. He says. All right. Yeah. All right. Notice now. He says because. And he said, I am in the Father. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. You'll be able to see that. He said that, that, that I, I've been talking about him and, and, and I've, been, I've been performing miracle signs and wonders and I have been directing your attention this whole time that it was not about me. It's All been right. about my Father. All right. All right. I'm doing the bidding for my Father. Oh, yeah. And you will know after I'm gone because Jesus was, was, you know, basically prophesying that he had to leave them. All right. All right. So he says, he says, it will be after I transition All right. and leave you that you will realize that I was really from my father. Right. I really came from him, and, and, and he, 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 I'm with him, and you, you, you are with me. He says, and I'll be in you right. as though I am in my Father, you will be in me. Amen. Now, what does that say to me? That says to us that, 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 we, that, what, that, we, what, that we really need to realize about the scripture is, is that although we are in Jesus, All right. you not necessarily be with the Father until you go through the process of being with his son. All right. All right. Amen. See, that's why scripture says, no man gets to the Father, but by, uh -huh. but by, by me. Jesus. All right. You can't run to God and be with God. That's why people that are, that are excited 
accepting, uh, acceptive of God, but they don't want to recognize that he has a son by the name of Jesus. Right. People that. believe in God, but they still can't wrap their minds around the fact that he has a son and his son because they do not understand the fact of the Holy Spirit that, that was spoken into a virgin by the name of Mary without the without a man, a man uh, 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 putting his seed in her. Right. Men, men just can't understand how was that really possible? All right. Right. Because it goes against the laws of science. <laughs> that how can a woman conceive a child? Amen. 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 And she ain't had no dealings sexually with the man. All right. Well, I don't know if that's just curiosity on the perverted side of man. And mostly it probably is. Yeah. That they want to know why and how they got together. All right. Come on. Or how can this be? Mm. When she said she never knew a man. All right. But she's a spouse to this man by the name of Joseph, mm -hmm. who who also says he had been with her. All right. Go, pal. But she carrying a, a child that he said he ain't the daddy of. All right. All right. All right. Y'all right. right. ain't helping me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I, I don't know who this fuck, but 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 some of us, thank God, it was Mary and Joseph. All yeah. right. And, and it wasn't Pookie yeah. and Laquisha. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God, because see, a Pookie wasn't going to be able to handle the fact oh, that, that the Holy Spirit, amen, impregnated his girl. Yeah. All right. All right. Y'all right. right. ain't, ain't like say that. Say that. Say that. It's going to be some rumbling in the hood. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Thank God that, that uh, and, 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 as good as I think I am sometimes, it wasn't me. Yes, all right, all right. Yeah, I can't talk about nobody else. All right. Yeah, they thought it wasn't me because I don't know if I could be able to handle that. But had God spoke to me like he spoke to them, I believe I would have to go ahead and accept the fact that that's what it is. All right, all right. All right. All right. Amen. And then some of us hear from God and we disregard what God says like God had said. Amen. And that's why we end up jammed up in a lot of stuff because we disregard what has been said Amen. over us Amen. and to us. Amen. 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 So he says, he says, on the day you'll realize that, 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 that I am in the Father All right. and you are in me Amen. and I am you. In you. So now you kind of wonder, you got to wonder who's in you. He's, Jesus is saying that since I'm in the Father and you are in me, then you can recognize through the kingdom connection who's in you. Mm -hmm. He says, he tells you, I am in you. you. Now, question again, who's in you? Mm -hmm. You are kingdomly connected. If you are a child of God, if you are saved, the blood washed, bought, believer in Christ Jesus, you know who's walking with you. Amen. You know who's talking with you. You know who's leading you and guiding you day by day. All right. Some of us don't give don't give a, a second notice, a, a, a second, a, a moment to think that I need to talk to the one that's in me. All right. Amen. Amen. Because the comforter is not only the comforter, he's the counselor. Yes, all right, yes, all right. Yes. He's, your, he's your guide that, that, that guides you through life day by day. Have you consulted with him lately? All right. I'm going to ask that question again. Have you consulted with him lately? All right. Amen. Because he has some things and, and, and some decisions that we need to make on a day-to-day basis. Yes. And if you consult with God before you make a decision, I promise you, you won't end up with some of the negative results that we get a lot of times without consulting with him. All right, all right. All right. Amen. Because stuff happens, and stuff happens on, I think I said it on last week, things happen on impulse. Mm -hmm. All right. And sometimes you don't have a, you don't have a, a few moments, a few seconds, or a few minutes to respond. Amen. Amen. So when you got those those moments that happen when it seems like 
they in a rush to get an answer from you. You need to be talking to the one that's on the inside. Amen. All right, all right. Amen. Lord, what must I, I do? do? All right. Hmm. Should I go? Should I stay? Mm -hmm. Should I accept? Should I reject? Mm -hmm. Do I go right? Do I go left? You, you got to, you got to talk to the one that's on the inside of you. All right. Some of us, <laughs> after we disregard the voice of God mm -hmm. through the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. when you when you disregard Him, after a while, He'll stop talking. All right. Amen. 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 <laughs> I'm going to say that again. And some of y'all, I want you to catch it now. And don't wait till you get home to catch this Amen. one. Amen. After a while, he'll stop, stop talking. Stop, stop. Amen. 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 <laughs> and some of us, and guess what? When he stopped talking, who do you think talking means? All right. Amen. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> because. You don't stop hearing the channel. All right. <laughs> Amen. You just stop hearing the reasonable voice. All right. Because in every instance of your life, when you've been faced with situations, Amen. you have, mama used to say that you got to follow your first mind. All right now. Mm -hmm. What your mind tells you the first First thing that comes to mind is normally the right thing for you to do. Amen. All right. Amen. Talk Amen. But when we disregard what's going on in the first mind, hmm. or what the first thoughts are, or the first voice, All right. when we disregard that, you better know that the enemy is coming right on. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yes. Now. yes. Talk, pal. First mind, the, the boss could be in front of your face and, 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 and saying some derogatory things to you. And, and your first mind say, just be humble and don't say nothing. Just right. listen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he keep talking and he keep talking and he kept, keep talking and then it'll come back again. Be humble. Mm -hmm. Be quiet. Just be still and don't say nothing. Mm -hmm. You listen. You heard it. You heard it. Right. You know you heard it. Be humble. Be still and don't say nothing. All right. And after a while, the devil will pop up. Amen. Just go ahead and tell him what does you want to say. And if he get rowdy, you go ahead and pop it. All right. Amen. That's more sensible to you because that's your nature. All right. And, and you don't even give them a warning. You fly off and they say, you know, you done popped him and you without a job. You forgot you got babies at the house you got to feed. All right. All right. Say that. Say that. You, you forgot that the rent is due in a couple of days. Yeah. Huh? Amen. All right. And the one that you give over to the uh, the most is the one that's going to be more prevalent in your like ear gates. Amen. All right. Mm -hmm. We got to understand, people of God, mm -hmm. that we all have some something in us. All right. Amen. Everybody got something in them. Amen. Even the babies. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. They may not understand or know how to differentiate between the two. Mm -hmm. And that's why some people go, they go crazy because they think that they hearing voices, but it's there's a war going on. All right. All right. Yes. And, and naturally, some folks are hearing voices, and ain't not one of them the devil. All right. And not one of them God. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 <laughs> some of us got some some extra stuff going on. Amen. All right. All right. Amen. Talk about Amen. Talk. Amen. Right about y'all ain't y'all ain't Come on. Come on. Right. But we have to be careful. To the to the one or to which one that we give more credence to. All right. Amen. And that's why that's why Jesus said, He said that that you will know that I am in the Father. And you are in me. And I am in you. All right. Listen, now now we're going to the prerequisites. Okay, I told y'all earlier. I told you that was some prerequisites in order for them to live with you, live in you. That 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 that's a prerequisite that have been placed there.
to, to get them to want to live, reside in us. So here we go. Whoever has my command All right. and obeys them. All right. He is the one uh -huh. who loves me. He who loves me will be loved by my father. Mm -hmm. And I too will love him and show myself to him. Uh -huh. it's, it's a mighty sad commentary for us to be spiritual beings having an earthly experience and we never get to see the presence of our God. All right, all right. Or to feel the presence of our God. Mm -hmm. I say it again. We are spiritual beings having an earthly experience. Right. And it's a sad commentary for us never to get to feel the presence or to see him. Because not see him in physical form. But to see him working in our lives because he is with us. All right. Yes. Because I believe that if I would take a poll in here this morning and and talk about uh, or, or ask uh, how many commandments are there and at least tell me three to five of the commandments, I believe that everybody in here knows at least two to three of the commandments that are placed in the Bible. All right. Over in Exodus. All right. All right. But it's not good enough just to know the command. You got to obey the commandments. Amen. You got to keep the commandments. And too often, people of God, we're guilty of saying to God, I know your word, mm -hmm. but we're not doers of the word. Amen. Amen. I read your word, but I'm not a doer of your word. Mm -hmm. See, it's more important to be a doer of the word All right. <laughs> than to be a hearer and a reader of the word. All right, all right. Yeah, amen. Y'all ain't helping me up in here today. But too many of us, we got the hearing mm -hmm. and we even on Sunday morning got to read it because I, I make you keep your Bibles open. All right, all right. Amen. 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 Miss me with the, and, and I like to see Bibles. I don't like to see telephones with the Bible on that. Amen. I like to see Bibles because, see, see, you need to have the Word of God in your hand. Amen. Amen. That's why the, Bible, the, the book says the Holy Bible. Yeah, All right. And, 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 and man has gotten us uh, not carrying anything that's holy anymore. Amen. All right. All right. That's why I still carry my Bible Amen. and I like it in paperback. I, I like the hardback. I, I still carry the holy book. Amen. The holy Bible. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at one on the front on the on the front row right there. It says the holy Bible. Alright. Amen. And the enemy has gotten people out of the practice of carrying something that's holy. Alright. Right. Talk about Amen. I ain't got to take my Bible. I got it on my phone. Ain't nothing holy about that phone. All right. All right. Woo. Amen. I'm out. Uh. Y'all ain't got to say right. me now. I'm, I'm already in the zone. All right. <laughs> ain't nothing holy about that phone. All right. You're right. Amen. But you need, you need to have something holy with you. All right. All right. Amen. And I'm not just talking about the book. You need to have Dead. the holiness of God in Dead. you. Dead. Amen. 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 Yeah, yeah. Amen. And, and everywhere I go, Amen. the Holy Spirit thing that's happened, we got to go to it. All right. Mm -hmm. You got to, you got to, you got to, I don't care even if it's quote unquote church involvement. Amen. Because it's some stuff that's under the auspices of church.
that ain't God ain't in. Right. That's why you don't see me running to everything that go on in the city. I ain't trying to be, I ain't trying to be, you know, you know, uh, think I'm big or, or yeah. I'm better. Amen. But everybody that's saying that they are quote unquote such and such church and we doing ministry, right. you ain't doing ministry if Amen. all you doing is just congregating yourself. Ain't nobody even open up the door of the church. Right. Ain't no word went for, but you doing Right. Who you helping? Say that. All right. Who got saved? All right. All right. Who came and said, yeah. Lord, I'm ready to change yeah. out yeah. of your ministry? Right. Amen. Amen. It ain't but one ministry. That's right. I don't care what you call yourself. It ain't but one. At the end of the day, it ain't but one ministry. All right. We got all these types of people that talk about they doing ministry, but it ain't the one. All right. And Jesus showed us, he said, I didn't come to do my, what I want. I came to do my father's oh, business. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. yeah. Yeah. To seek that which is lost. lost. All right. That's the ministry right there. Amen. All right. Amen. That's the ministry. And it ain't one ministry. Mm. One way to do it. If you ain't seeking those that's long, <coughs> you might as well hang it on up. All right. Amen. 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 Everything else is entertainment. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, whoever has my command, obey them. He is the one who loves me. Mm -hmm. He who loves me will be loved by my father. I don't know about you, but it's something when God, when the Father loves you. Amen. Not just in a general sense, and I know we talk about agape love, but 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 when the Father loves you and when the Father is pleased with you, He will He will let you in on kingdom secrets, Amen. kingdom business. All right. When He loves you. Yes. Amen. Because he ain't going to entrust kingdom word, kingdom knowledge, kingdom business to somebody that he don't love. All right, all right. It's kind of like when you have children. You you disperse things to, to certain ones, certain parts of your, your, your lineage, your children, to certain ones because you know that he or she is capable of handling what you give to them. All right. You, everybody got a child that you know you can't trust. Everybody got a child that you know that is trustworthy. All right. Amen. Amen. That's going to take care that you can leave them in charge and you got the one that's going to be sneaky no matter what. All right. All right. Amen. 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 God, Amen. He knows he knows what we are capable of. He, Amen. As a matter of fact, he put it into us. All right. Amen. 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 He knows what we're capable of. He knows our capabilities and he knows our shortcomings. Amen. All right. And some of us, on a more personal note, we have characteristics and attributes and traits that don't resemble God. All right. Amen. 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 Some of us act a little bit too much like our forefathers. All right. All right. Amen. Our, our parents and our grandparents. We act a little bit too much like them to the point that we call it out. You just like your daddy. Or you act just like your mom. All right. Y'all right. right. quiet on me today. <laughs> and some of you, whether you like it or not, you got some ways about you that you don't even like about yourself. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Because you can't change your bloodline. Amen. Right. Right. But you can ask God to help you change your way. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. It's some things about me that I want to change. And I, I know I can change, but I can ask God to help me. Amen. All right, all right. Amen. 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 It's some things that I dare not, I dare not be uh, after my father. I'll ask God. I didn't want to be like him. Amen. In a lot of ways. All right. Amen. I didn't want to be like him. All right. Amen. 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 He was a harsh man. Mm -hmm. He was a stern, firm man. All right. Amen. Amen. 
And, and, and some right outright, he was just flat out mean. All right. Amen. Amen. And some folk tell me I'm mean. But 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 I say to my I say when they tell me I'm mean, you don't know me. All right. All right. All right. All right. You don't know me if you say I'm mean. If you spend a little time with me, I'm hilarious. I like to joke and I like to have a good time. All right. All right. Amen. 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 You catch me on the wrong day, yeah, I'm gonna put you in place. Amen. Amen. You catch me on the right day, I'll put you in place. Amen. Amen. That's just who I am. Amen. 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 But that don't mean that that, that I don't have a, a connection. That's All right. right. That's right. Huh? Amen. And, and some of us, some of us have ways, like I said, that we don't even like about ourselves. All right. And we are reminded every day when we walk and we look in the mirror. That's All right. right. We were reminded because your daddy or your mama may be going off the scene, but when you walk and look in that mirror, you can see it. All right. Amen. You can see resemblances of them. Amen. 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 I see, I see mama, and she's been gone almost 30 years. Mm -hmm. I can see mama, uh, especially when I look into my eyes. I can see her eyes because she had light brown eyes. Amen. 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 I, when I look at my feet, I can see mama because her, her big toe was shaped a certain way and I got a toe. You do. Amen. Amen. <laughs> when I look at my hand, I can see my daddy. And I, no, I can look back and see my, my grandfather Charlie because I can see that Ralph's hand. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and we, have a, we have a way our head is shaped that the Ross's hand. All right. Amen. My sisters even got it. The shade they have. We're going to shade they have next week. So they got the same heat. Amen. 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 He's proving a point. Will be loved by my father, and I too will love him and show myself to him. I'm glad that the Lord loves me enough to show himself to me. All right, all right. You ought to make sure that you get yourself in the right position that God will love you enough to show himself to you. And I'm not talking about, again, I'm not talking about in the physical sense. But when God loves you, he will show himself to you through acts, signs, and deeds. He will show you the inner workings of the kingdom. Right. And that's how you know who he is when he will reveal himself to you. Amen. All right, all right. Some of you will never know true kingdom business. Because Jesus won't allow you access. All right, man. Into knowing kingdom business, Amen. because he can't trust you. Amen. I declare this morning that if you want to be deeper in God, mm -hmm. spend a little bit more time in His Word. Amen. All right, all right. Develop a, a more serious prayer life. Y'all ain't hear me. Amen. Develop a more serious prayer life. As I tell you, that when you pray, don't just pray all about you. That's right. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. 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 You ought to pray a fervent prayer concerning all issues. Amen. All persons. And then when you get to the end of it, you can just ask God. He already know what you have even before you ask for it. You can just say, Lord, remember me. Amen. All right. All right. But some of us, from the time we say our Father or however we start our prayer, we just talking about what we want Amen. and what we need. All right. Amen. 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 You think God don't know you need a better job? Amen. Amen. You think He don't know your finances messed up? Amen. You think He don't know that your children is is, is crazy? All right. Crazy. That's how they got to be crazy. You All think right. He don't know? That? All right. Amen. But if you talk to him and be persistent in your prayer, the Bible says that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man avails much. much. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Avails much. Much. Amen. All right. <laughs> and then Judas. Now 
not his carry, said, Lord, why do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? All right. Yeah. And Jesus replied, if anyone loves me, he will obey my teaching. All right. My Father will love him, and he will come to him and make and, and make our home with him. All right. He didn't really answer the question. <laughs> but he replied, nevertheless. All right. But I'm here to tell you that he says, why do you intend to show yourself to, my, to, uh, to us and not to the world? Well, even if he showed himself to the world, mm. the world still would not believe. All right. And when people don't want to see something, yeah. they not going to see it even if it's in front of them. All right, all right, amen. All right. When, people right about don't want, when, when people don't want to see anything or accept what what's visually in front of them, yeah. they going to act like they didn't never see it. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. amen. I prayed when I prayed for a lady the other week in the hospital that was, I, I told y'all about it. And uh, they were getting ready to pull the plug on her at 12. I was there at 11 o'clock, but the lady is still here. I got a, Amen. I got received Amen. message Amen. that 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 she's she woke up. They put her in hospice uh, after after I prayed. Amen. So hospice, Amen. they were they were getting ready to say, you know, when you go to hospice, you ain't got long. Yeah. All right. The lady got the hospice and she woke up and said, "What am I doing here?" All right. Right. And she said, get me out of here. I'm not ready to die. All right, all right. All right. All right. After I went and prayed for her, she woke up. Y'all yeah. didn't listen to me. Yeah. And then the person who told me had the audacity to say, well, I told him she got nine lives. Ain't no way in the world. How you going to talk to reduce a miracle from God to talking about a death with nine yeah. lives? Let me tell you something. Yeah. Folks just don't want to believe. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. The power. The power. That God possesses. Yes. Say that. Say that. Amen. Yes. See, I, I, now, I don't take no credit for nothing because it's all God. That's right. Amen. But folk want to try to reduce it and make it make it be like, oh, she got nine lives. She ain't got no nine lives. She ain't even got nine lives. Say that. Right. Right. Say that. Right. Y'all ain't helping me up in here. Right. Right. I, I know that's what they say, but but how how we determine to determine how many lives a cat got? Say that. Amen. Amen. He ain't got no nine lives. Mm. Because if he end up on the on the underneath the my tires of my car when I'm rolling down Calvary, I promise you, all nine of them gonna hey, be gone. Right, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Say that. Amen. Say that. Amen. If he got nine lives, let me see him come back after that. All right. I believe. Yeah. yeah. I'm like I'm like I'm like uh, uh, Dalton Thomas now. Except I. Yeah, 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 all right, yeah. They all believe, yeah, all right. I don't believe, sister Cindy, I don't believe they got nine lives. Right. <laughs> and I don't believe that that lady had nine lives. I believe that the power of prayer. Say that, say that, say that, say that, yeah. And, and I believe that, that, that she uh, must have had a relationship with the Lord. All right, Amen. all right. Amen. 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 To send her back. She's still here. Amen. All right. Yes, she is. And that was over a week ago. She's still here. Amen. Amen. And, and it's because of who's in you. All That's right. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. So he says, and if anyone loves me, he will obey me. Obey my teaching. See, he keep that word keep popping up. Obey. Okay. All right. Obey. Obey. If I don't tell you nothing else. Mm -hmm. okay. Learn how to obey. All right. All right. Now. African American people. <laughs> Learn how to obey. All right. Learn how to walk in obedience to God yeah. and his word. All right. Amen. Amen. It's printed on the pages so that we can read and apply. And some of us are missing major blessing, major miracle signs and wonder. We're missing out because we will not obey. And here's what gets a lot of us 
black folk. I'm almost done. I got about five more minutes. I'm close. Let me come up because, because he's some of us don't understand. We expecting God like the man, uh, uh, like when he got to uh, got to the prophet's house and he said, uh, I need to be healed. And he said, he said, well, uh, told him, so go out there and tell him to go wash. And he was upset yeah, with the fact yeah. that uh, he didn't come out and wave his hand and yeah. call on God yeah. and do all this astronomical stuff to make sure that make it look like to him that God was so great and he needed to do a great thing in order for him to receive it. But sometimes God is speaking in small little segments yeah. and saying small little statements like, be still. Yeah. All right. All right. Be quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Don't move. All right. yeah. Say little bit of things. And we disregard it and disobey, and we get ourselves hemmed up in great stuff because we disobey what the word of God tells us. Amen. And we disobey what the men and the women of God tell us. And some of us can tell you, we can tell you that God says that you need to just come and you just need to just sit in the present and we won't come. Well, all right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We won't come. Amen. Amen. We'll make up every excuse. Amen. Why you can't come. And I'll be there, I'll be there next week. And you don't even know what trouble is laid up for you right next the next day or that night. All right, All right now. Some things could have been avoided and some things Amen. could have been prevented. If you had to just obey. All right. All right. Talk, pal. He says, and if you obey, my teaching, my father will love you. And I will come to him. And says, and make our home with him. All right. Uh -huh. That's the only way God going to come into your, into your heart, into your life, and into your spirit, man. Amen. Is that you got to obey. Amen. Because when they move in, when they move in, y'all hear me clearly, they're going to be commanding you to do certain things. All right. And you got to have your obedience in check. So that when he starts speaking to you in a voice that can't nobody else hear but you, All right. you got to move on what he says when he says it. All right, all right. That's the only way he's coming to live with you. Mm -hmm. God ain't coming to fight with you about getting up. All right, all right hmm. now. Getting into the highways and the, and the byways and compel me to come. He ain't going to argue with you about it. Right. Amen. 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 He's gonna argue with you about giving a tenth of your earning. He's not gonna argue with you. All right. And that's where a lot of us mess it up because we won't obey nothing that's told us. Yeah. All and right. it's the simple stuff. Yeah. Amen. That's getting us all messed over. Amen. Amen. Man, I don't believe that's what the word is saying. I don't believe. That that's, the, that's, the, that that's the interpretation. That's what God is saying in this season. I don't believe. Then what do you believe? All right. Huh? Hmm. Because the scripture tells me that, that trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean yeah. and not to your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and allow him to direct your path. All right. Yeah. And we don't want to listen to nothing. Hmm. Why come to church then? Amen. All right. Amen. All right. If you don't want to listen to nothing what the Lord has to say. Amen. Because we're just a voice. Mm -hmm. It's God speaking through us. We're just a voice. Right. Amen. A vessel. Amen. That's being used in this hour. Yes. To speak the word of truth. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 The word of truth. So folks don't want to hear the truth now, baby. Mm. Amen. Amen. We want to play. We want you to joke with us. And you can even lie to us. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we'll love you forever. Mm -hmm. All right. But what we don't want, we don't really want you to tell us the truth. All right. Amen. 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 That's why we have so many things going on in the body of Christ. It's because the scripture says in those in the last days, people will, uh, uh, when Paul told Timothy, they'll have itching ears, turning to fables. Fables is lies. All right. Amen. They do not want to endure sound doctrine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I make it a point that every service that we have right here at 4802 Cavalcade, that some word goes forth. I don't care about musicals and all of that stuff. We're going to have some word and we, then we can sing. All right. All right. All right. I 
I make sure that because when God shows up and he comes into this house, I want to make sure that some word goes forth. All right. Amen. Amen. But we want to have all types of program and we want to exclude the word. All right. Amen. And yet, there ought to never be a time where the word is exclusionary yes, from the program. All right, all right, all right. Amen. All the other stuff you're doing can be exclusionary. All right. All right. Yes. But not the word. Amen, amen. Because the word is what's going to change the life. All right. It is the anointing that destroys the yoke. yoke. All right. Mm -hmm. Huh? We got to get back to a place even with the preachers, and I challenge and I charge the preachers to get back to preaching the truth. All right. Amen. Get back to preaching the truth. Yeah. Pastors all over the world, get back to preaching the truth. Amen. We don't want to preach, we compromise, and we're allowing a lot of things to go on in, the, in God's house that shouldn't be going on. Right. And we live on Facebook. And I want preachers to know that you, we are challenged and charged by God to preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. All right. All right. You exhort with all exhortation. And we have to tell them what thus says the Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord do the rest. Amen. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. You want to see the church filled up, start preaching the truth. Amen. All right. Amen. 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 I, I'm not concerned with, with, with packing the pews if I'm only packing the pews with a bunch of devils. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I want to see some change. All right. I want to see some deliverance. Yeah. yeah. Amen. I want some people to come and want to be saved. Say and I'm talking about real saved. Amen. All right. Say Say it. It. Say it. Amen. Because holiness is still right. Amen. And without it, no man can see the Lord. Amen. 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 We got to understand, people of God, and I'm closing, that we all have someone in us. That's right. All right. Somebody is navigating at the wheel. Mm -hmm. But who's navigating the wheel? Amen. The one that you're listening to. Amen. 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 It's evident, and that's why some people end up in trouble. Again, and I'm done. End up in trouble. Because you know which voice they listen to. All right, talk, pal. It's, it's some folk that's walking around here with with, with, with the little monitors on their ankle. All right, All right. All right talk, pal. Well, they were listening to the wrong voice. Amen. Right. Amen. Yes. It's some folk that got to pray, pay them them folks downtown every month. Mm -hmm. It's called probation. Amen. All right. Listen to the wrong voice. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. There's some people over there that we got to go visit, put money on their books. All right, huh? Amen. Mm. They listen listen to, the to the wrong book. All right, all right. Talk about. Well, today is a good day. Mm. To tune out to one hundred one point one or six 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 point six. <laughs> Say the radio station. All right. <laughs> and tune in to the heavenly connection. Amen. 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 I don't know who this is for, but we got to make sure that we get our minds right. We ain't going to shout today because I'm serious. And it's important for us to know and to understand that the Holy Spirit is our guide. Amen. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And God wants to be a part of your life. Mm -hmm. He wants to be a part of your everyday routine. He wants to be a part of your everyday walk. Jesus said in Revelations chapter 3, verse 20. He says, I stand at the door. Mm, and I'm not. All right, all right, sir. If any man open up, mm. I'll come in mm -hmm. and I'll suck with him. Will you let me in today?
Amen. Will you let him in? Because if you let him in, the feast of the Lord can go forth for you. Things will begin to change. Will you let me? Amen. Amen. Yes, it will. Your days will begin to be a little bit brighter when you let me. Amen. All you have to do is just open up the door. He's not a, he's not like the burglar. He's not gonna break in. All right. He said, I'm gonna stand here and I'm gonna knock. All right. Anticipating for you to open up. But if you don't open up, I'll stand here for as long as I can and I'm gonna move on. Mm -hmm. So the question of the day is, will you let him in? Hmm. So he can come in into your heart, into your mind, into your spirit. And he will guide you from this day forward. This day forward. It's not about others right now. This is personal. Because salvation is free. Mm -hmm. It's a gift of God. It's the one thing that no man has the ability to offer to any other person. Mm. Because salvation don't belong to us. It's from God. Right. He's the only one that can save us. Amen. He can, he's the only one that can deliver us from the clutches mm. of the evil one. Will you come on today? While the blood is running warm in your veins, will you come? Because time is of the essence. Amen. 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 And when we get ready for when we get ready for prayer, I want y'all to bring that little fellow up here today. Amen. Amen. Because Amen. see, he got a he got an unfamiliar spirit, and I'm gonna pray for him today. Amen. 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 Yeah, that little that little boy. Every time the word go forth, he gets busy. Amen. Amen. And we are gonna pray that demon out of him today. Amen. 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 Yeah, I want y'all to bring him down. I want you to bring him down here. Bring him Amen. on down here. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and jerk and hurt. Oh, yeah, we're going to deal with you just a moment. Would that be another? The devil will come in right here Amen. at this age. Amen. And then he'll go dormant for a little while. Nobody ever challenges the devil. Amen. He'll grow up in him and he'll torment him for all of his days. Amen. Amen. Ain't nobody bothering him. Ain't nobody hurting him. But he acts up every time. Amen. And I know some of you get tired of him. And even I get tired of him. But that's why we're going to deal with it today. Amen. Amen. You coming? Amen. Will that be another? Hey. 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 Shut that noise up. No, he don't need no napkin. He need to shut up. Yeah, you don't want everybody to hear it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, shut up. And I'm not talking to the baby. I want y'all to know that. Amen. I'm Amen. not talking to the baby. I'm Amen. talking to the spirit. Amen. Shut that noise up, evil. Because when you walk in kingdom authority, you'll be able to see. Amen. 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 He's innocent. Amen. He's innocent. And that's why we have to be careful, young ladies. Be careful 
who you lay down with. Because the devil got a hot one too. Amen. And he planted seeds all over the country. Amen. 